Bar of Michigan. I'm an attorney and that's the governing body for attorneys. And I was looking at uh, then moving forward to run for an open judge seat. I had gotten all the petitions ready and I was getting ready to uh, get that campaign going uh, when unfortunately I got a call that nobody wants to get. Uh, my wife hadn't been feeling well and uh, we got the news that she had cancer. So I decided I wasn't gonna run. I was gonna focus on family matters. And uh, we went forward with that. Fortunately, knock on wood, she hasn't had cancer for the last two years. We made it through there. But I understand the difficulties uh, all the families that deal with those sort of medical issues have, and that's an advocate they will have on the county board if I'm elected. I'm running now again because after four years of being involved with family and being out of the public eye, I'm just tired of seeing all these elected officials who are acting more like schoolyard bullies than leaders. And I want to get in there and show that we can have community leaders that are good neighbors rather than just people who are being bullies and harassing people out there. So I'm trying to do it again and win another seat that people say a Democrat probably can't win. But the last election cycle, the Republican incumbent only won with 52% of the vote. This is going to be a Democrat year. I'm going to be hustling to get that vote, get those votes, and hopefully uh, we'll do it again and I'll be a county commissioner uh, starting the next term. Thank you, Tim. For your first question, at this point, if elected, what is your highest priority and what do you look forward to the most? Uh, what, what project do you look forward to working on the most in January 2021? Sure. Well, my first focus is going to be, um, again, helping us tackle the, the coronavirus. And I think people don't understand how important the health division is when it comes to uh, getting us back on track in regards to both uh, providing treatment, providing PPE, and also in regards to potentially tracking. Uh, if vaccinations come out, they're gonna be involved with the distribution of those. And we need to have leaders in place that will understand that they need to follow medical directions and advice and that science and facts matter. So I wanna make sure we have a county commissioners there that are gonna be doing, understanding the important role of the health division and, and helping us move forward from this uh, pandemic. Uh, one of the pet projects I always enjoy uh, working on was I was a real big advocate of the park system. And I really enjoy, again, being involved uh, with some of those aspects, especially making sure that uh, we are getting uh, fair representation for the whole county and using the system uh, based upon how the tax dollars are allocated. The southern and middle portion of the county put a lot of money into the parks, but a lot of the projects and, and the uh, property is in the more northern part. And, and that makes sense, but I want to make sure that everyone's getting a good uh, value out of the system and we keep it at a, a good level of uh, quality, especially with the financial issues we're probably going to be facing with the crisis from the economy kind of taking a tumble here from the pandemic. Thank you, Tim. Your next question, what are your plans to improve racial justice in your communities? Well, that's a good question. And you know, one of the issues I have is that uh, I work as primarily a criminal defense attorney. So I've seen lots of issues where people are uh, discriminated against uh, based upon racial, religious, as well as economic issues. And I want to work through the committees that supervise the uh, the the sheriff's department and the prosecutor's office to make sure that everyone's being treated equally, not just based upon their economic status or their racial or religious views. Uh, when I was a county commissioner before, unfortunately, we had a, a commissioner who was the chairman of the committee who was sick for an extended period of time. So I took over uh, chairing that committee as a Democrat. And I was one of the few Democrats that actually probably have chaired a committee until the Democrats took the majority more recently. And, uh, you know, I was looking out to see how we can impact the budget. One of the things I was trying to prevent was the militarization of the uh, sheriff's department uh, when I was in charge of that committee. And, and those are types of things I want to make sure that we're not making it seem as if we're being uh, aggressive or at war with different ethnic groups. We need to make sure that we're all on the same side here. Okay. Thank you. Um, the next question, what are your views in expands and expanding regional transit? Well, I think that's important. I'm a mass advocate, uh, I'm an advocate for mass transit. I believe that we need to address urban sprawl. Um, 
I believe that uh, we probably could have got a bigger bang for our buck if we invest in mass transit versus expanding the I-75 freeway that's going on right now. Um, and uh, I think it involves a approach where uh, we have everyone together because you do need to get an um, economy of scale to actually get the program in place. And we also need cooperation because we're losing out on a lot of federal funding because we aren't communicating and getting along. So I, I'm an advocate for uh, looking into seeing what we can do to improve the system so that it works for everyone. Okay, thank you. Now uh, we have time for um, a question from the chat room. Uh, let's see. Um, Okay, this is not for you. This is for the next group. So I will, I'm going to okay. ask you one, another one that I had um, in, in my sure. part here. <laughs> and that is, um, what are your plans to address climate change at the, at the county level? What can be done at the county level to address this? Well, one of the things that I would like to see is the county look into expanding its home improvement program to make it more accessible for doing uh, solar power for uh, lower income communities within the county. Uh, that would help alleviate the need for using some of the coal powered uh, type uh, programs uh, that the current uh, utilities are using and get uh, more uh, green energy going into the system. Also would improve property values and uh, a dependence on, on, on some communities that could use a little bit of a boost. So um, there's some issues with that I like to see. I also want to make sure that we are working to um, see what we are doing to reduce the carbon imprint the county's doing through its different uh, buildings and maintenance that we're doing, as well as our vehicle fleet, seeing what we can do to try to get that uh, potentially to be a green green, uh, green fleet. I like to see to try to get the fleet moving to an electric vehicle fleet. Um, one of the things I advocated for when I was on the county board before was is that we needed to build a new airport terminal. And uh, we initially bid it out as a LEED certified program. And uh, when the economy sank, they were trying to, to get rid of away some of those energy efficiency type projects on, and that lose that LEED certification. And I said, this is going to be building that's going to be for generations of use. We need to have it be LEED certified and actually reverse that again. And that building's been built and it's LEED certified. Uh, so that shows that, you know, I've been an advocate for a long time and making sure that we're being environmentally conscious and responsible when it comes to uh, our infrastructure with both the county resources and in the communities that I represent. Thank you. So, oh, and I was uh, endorsed yeah. by the Sierra Club. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so it's time for your closing statement. You have one minute. Well, I'd just like to say again, my name is Tim Burns. I do have a primary challenger. Uh, so we're trying to do grassroots, grassroots out there, let people know to vote Tim Burns on the primary ballot so I can be against the Republican incumbent in the fall. So if you know anyone that's in Rochester Hills or Troy, appreciate you uh, getting the word out that Tim Burns is a good guy. Uh, he's been in office before. He's a good Democrat and uh, he will hopefully get us a victory and flip a seat for us in the fall. Tim, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, I appreciate the invitation. Yes, and um, just a reminder, Tim Burns is running for county commissioner in the 11th district. Good luck. Thanks. Okay.